kupeleka Kenya mbele. Mpango ya barabara vile nimemuuliza kuna barabara ambazo e, tulianzisha nyingi pale nyuma zikakwama nyingi sasa tutaanza polepole pole, nitakuja e, next week e, kuanzisha barabara ya kwanza nitakuja hiyo wiki nyingine nikuje ni kwa muwe ya pili namna hiyo namna hiyo namna hiyo mpaka barabara zetu zote tuzijenge vile mmetuuliza mmetu maneno ya maji maneno yale mengine ni vile vile nimesikia hiyo mpango ya St Luke huyu eh, senator amesema inahitaji pesa kidogo eh, mmesikia amesema pesa ngapi <laughs> ati inahitaji <laughs> karibu bilioni mbili ati hiyo ni pesa kidogo kwa hesabu ya watu hapa Nyandarwa eh wengine unajua nyinyi mnauza waru sana so lakini eh, tayari hiyo pia iko katika mipango yetu tumeongea na watu wa African Development Bank katika program yetu ya country program tutaona vile tutahakikisha kwamba hiyo pia tunaishughulikia ndio mupate maji ya kunywa tukiwa na shukurani kwa niaba ya watu wote wanaoishi na eh, Nairobi hata, hata wale watu wa Nyandarwa governor wetu deputy governor wa Nairobi si ni mtu hapa so eh, tukiwashukuru kwa sababu ya kutupatia maji kule Nairobi wa Kenya wengi wanakunywa maji kule Nairobi kwa hivyo ni vizuri hata na nyinyi mupate maji mkunywe kwa sababu mnatusaidia so tutashirikiana namna hiyo na tutapangana namna hiyo mimi nakuja hapa tena hiyo next week kwa mambo ya program yetu ya housing program ya housing hapa engineer e, mumesikia kuna vijana sasa wanafanya kazi pale kuanzia leo kwa sababu wamerudi kazini leo sasa tutaongeza vijana ambao watakuwa wanafanya kazi katika hiyo program. Mimi nakuja next week kuanzisha program ya housing pale Olkalau. Kwa sababu tunataka kupanga vijana zaidi ya tano pale waanze kufanya kazi. Alafu nikimaliza ya hapo Olkalau nitarudi tena. Kwa sababu mpaka tupate vijana elfu tano wanaofanya kazi katika program ya housing hapa Nyandarwa mwaka huu. Kwa sababu nimesema mwaka huu ni mwaka ule. Eh ule mwaka tulikuwa tuna, tulikuwa tunangojea. Si namna hiyo? So tutapangana hivyo. Na kazi hizo zingine zote tutapanga kwa pamoja. Ile kitu mimi nataka niwahakikishie ni kwamba we are going to be prudent and we are going to make sure that we do that which builds our economy for now and for the future. Barabara yenu ya ihide hapa mbaye mmeniuliza eh huyu Methu ni confirm amejaribu sana kufanya sehemu yake lakini wale watu bado wako na kesi so na hii kesi itabidi sasa tuwe na mjadala na watu ambao wanapeleka makesi kotini kuzuia maendeleo katika taifa letu la Kenya. Itabidi tuulizane maswali. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Yes, itabidi tuulizane maswali. Haiwezekani ya kwamba Kenya maendeleo ambayo tumekuwa tukingojea miaka nyingi. Mipango ambayo iko katika katiba ya Kenya mipango imepitishwa katika bunge la Kenya mipango ambayo wananchi wa Kenya wamepigia kura katika manifesto ya chama wamechagua ati watu wachache wawili watatu wameenda kotini wakahongana kotini mpango hiyo ikasimamishwa barabara ikasimamishwa universal health coverage inasimamishwa mambo ya housing inasimamishwa lazima tuulizane lazima tuwe na mjadala we must ask ourselves ama namna gani yes lazima tuulizane maswali na ndio mimi nataka niseme we are a democracy we respect we will protect the independence of the judiciary what we will not allow 
is judicial tyranny and judicial impunity. That we will not allow. That will not happen. Haiwezekani ya kwamba wakati tunaheshimu uhuru wa mahakama watu wachache watu ambao ni beneficiaries kama wale beneficiaries ambao wamekuwa wakiiba pesa yetu pale NHIF 50% ya pesa ya NHIF zinafujwa na ma, ma hospitali chache wakora chache fake hospitals fake doctors wanafuja pesa ya NHIF tumesema ya kwamba tunabadilisha sheria hawa wabunge wamebadilisha sheria mimi nimeweka kidole imekuwa sheria ya Kenya kwamba sasa tutabadilisha vile mambo ya NHIF inaenda mbele ili tuzuie pesa ya umma isipotee tukawa na digital health bill ambayo sasa itaweka a digital system that will protect resources that are meant for health in Kenya alafu watu wachache ambao wamekuwa wakiiba hiyo pesa wameenda wakatafutana na corrupt judicial officials wakapanga njama ati wazuie ndio waendelee kuiba pesa ya NHIF nusu ya pesa ya NHIF i want to tell you my friends hiyo haiwezi kuendelea sio kama tunaelewana mimi nataka niwaulize mnataka pesa ya ya hospitali iendelee kuibiwa na watu wachache ati kwa sababu wameenda kotini kwenda kuhonga judge ah bana no 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 hiyo yeah, bana eh hawa watu mimi nataka niwatangazie mapema ya kwamba mambo ya watu wachache people with vested interest people who are beneficiaries of the corruption in the in the former NHIF ganging up with corrupt judicial officials to stall the program that is going to make it possible for ordinary citizens to access healthcare so that a few corrupt characters hospitals fake hospitals fake doctors can continue to steal from NHIF i want to tell them it will not happen in kenya again and we will stop it we support the independence of the judiciary but ju corrupt judicial officials working with those who vested interests that are benefiting from money stolen from NHIF who want to perpetuate judicial tyranny and judicial impunity we will deal with them we will fight with them we will not allow them they will not go far mimi nataka niwatangazie mapema mimi ni mtu ambaye naamini mahakama i respect the judiciary i respect the independence of the judiciary but i also believe that the judiciary cannot be abused by a few corrupt judicial officials imagine ni waulize hata wale watu wako mahakamani ni waulize katiba ya Kenya article 43 inasema ina lazimu serikali ku provide housing that is decent to citizens ina lazimu serikali ku provide the highest standards of healthcare ina lazimu serikali kupanga ajira ya vijana wa Kenya katiba ya Kenya hawa wa Kenya mamilioni walienda kwa debe wakapigia kura manifesto ambayo iko na program ya housing iko na program ya universal health coverage iko na program ya ajira ya vijana bunge wakaenda wakapitisha budget iko na mpango ya housing iko na mpango ya universal health coverage iko na mpango ya kupanga ajira ya vijana ati alafu watu wachache ambao ni beneficiaries ya ukora wanaenda kotini wanaenda kutaka kusimamisha hiyo kazi yote ati vijana wetu 
waendelee kuranda randa wasipate ajira ati wa Kenya tusiwapunguzie hawa wenye mapato ya chini kutoka 500 mpaka 300 waendelee kulipa 500 na wao waendelee kuiba hiyo pesa ati wa Kenya waendelee kuishi kwa slums ati wa Kenya wasipate nyumba na hawa hawa ambao wako kotini ni watu wako na medical insurance inalipwa na wa Kenya wako na magari inalipwa na wa Kenya wako na housing inalipwa na wa Kenya je huo ni ungwana hapana hiyo hapana our judiciary we respect you but judicial impunity by corrupt judicial officers must stop in kenya we will stop it and what